Right, did I tell you I was an expert on fruit trees? <laughs> I have had so many comments about how to grow fruit. Man, I'm, a, I'm off on a rocket here. I'm going to plant as much as I can. And I think with me, it's been a bit of a confidence thing. You know, two things, confidence. I'm not, I haven't got a clue. Not, I didn't have a clue about fruit. Now I do. But it was also the static positions of fruit. That's what was annoying us as well. But oh, it's all sorted. So today, I'm going to plant this Victoria plum. And of all that I'm going to do, probably once a week now, plant all my fruit. And I've got, I might even get more. Do you know what I mean? I think, <laughs> why not? So I'm going to plant this Victoria plum. And I'm going to, you know how the week before I asked for all the, <laughs> the week before I asked for all the advice on the fruit, I was keeping them tomatoes there. Well, things might change now. Things might change. Someone made a great point that I'm getting this polytunnel. Do, do I need to grow tomatoes outside? I've, I've done it, I've proved it, it's ticked off. So I'm thinking this wall for some fruit. And I'm thinking for this actual, this, this Victoria plum, which I think will probably grow around about 10 foot. Now I don't, you know, I might prune it and just keep, keep it, you know, under control. But there actually doesn't seem that much to them, you know what I mean? And it's now, it's a great time to kind of plant, do you know what I mean? As, as look what happens. So I'm going to put it where this, this is here. I'm going to dig a nice hole, get it in, put a little bit of feed in there, a bit of manure and everything like that, a bit of blood fish and bone, and we'll see how this goes. This is my first bit of fruit I've ever planted. <laughs> first of all, Little bit of house cleaning, I think, is in order. Another, another hide of them. Right. Right there, I think. So I think as well, the idea is, is to try and get as much fruit in places where it's just a bit of waste ground, you know what I mean? And it looks like I've got everything covered with, with beds and that. But as soon as I put the video up and the comments started rolling in, me, oh man, right, I put a little one there, a little one there. And it's surprising where you can put them, do you know what I mean? So like I say, that's just on the corner. I'm going to put it there. At this moment, I'm not going to stake it. Let us know, do I need to stake it? I'm just totally, like I say, it's all going new for us. So, but I'm going to give a little bit of feed and dig a nice big hole. And it gets us to have a little bit dig and play as well in a no dig garden. So. So, <clears throat> before the, the big deed's done, I don't think anything is off limits now, because even the raspberries, do you know what I mean? I've loads of people, there's a couple of methods I can do. Daisy, Daisy's there as well. I can use me big pots and put them in pots and I can move them around if I want. Mm. Or I can just dig in the plastic and, and like sheet it off plastic so the roots can't get that way, you know, go down deep enough. So even raspberries are off and I was, that was one of the things I wasn't too keen about. There's a lot, a lot of people went, 
when I went to currants, they were like, oh, a bit naff, Tony, a bit too much faff for what they are. So we will see, we will see, but definitely the gooseberry. I might even put a couple of gooseberries, you know, get get some more. In in Invicta, there you go as well, gooseberry. So, ow. <laughs> so we'll see, but anyway, back to the plum. Come here, come here. <clears throat> now I'm not 100% sure what root stock it is, but you can see it looks like it's a kind of grafted, I think, possibly, root. So, and there's a little stake in, I think I'll just use that one for the time being until you come back to us and let us know, because I'm against this wall, so it's going to be protected to some extent. There we go. And I'll try and find out exactly what the name and the make is. Put a little drop of the good stuff in. And I'll go and get some blood fish and bone as well. There we go, get that nicely in there for the time being. Ho ho, right, I think that looks all right. So, I'm, oh, <laughs> I'm happy with that there, I'm really happy with it there, but you can let us know as well, do I, I'm not happy with these bottom things, can I cut them off now, or do I just leave them, and, and is there a certain time in the year when I cut them off, because I'm, I want to take it up, I'm not, see, bothered about growing it, I, I don't know, let us know what you think, but I was going to just take it up, and then keep it, like a, a you know, at a manageable level but yeah I'm happy with where that is what to do can I cut these off now so uh, I'm chuffed a bit of that <laughs> man yes definitely and like I say each week I'm going to plant one of them up you know what I mean the, the, the other fruit maybe get some more because there'll be loads of, I've just never bothered do you know what I mean and I'm quite we went through the lake district and there was a little, at Clifton, there was a little village fete and we drove to Clifton and it was in the church and there was this lady selling all these jams and jellies and it's just like, oh, possibly I could do that. You know, and, and she, it's things like, that was my dad's grapes and it was just like, oh yes, you know, so there's all that possibility. So, Victoria Plums, how long will I have to wait? 